What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy here Chris playing some Minecraft for you today of course. In today's video we are going to be doing this tutorial on how we built this farmhouse and windmill. This is a very easy build guys, very simple to follow. Definitely good for some beginner Minecrafters. Before we get in I just ask you leave a like and comment on the video and I'll see you all in 5 seconds my friends. Alright guys so let's get right into this. We're going to be making this out of some oak logs for the structure should just come up four blocks high and then we're going to connect with all of our logs coming across to make a little square. Now the materials you need for this build are going to be posted in the top left corner right now. So if you're doing this in survival, uh, just go get all your materials and then come back here and start building. Now we're going to fill this all in with stone brick and I'm just going to skip ahead to that and I'll see you when it's done. All right, guys, so here we are coming back to the middle. We're going to punch one block into the middle of our stone bricks. And this is going to add some depth to it. We're going to come on to either side and add our wood planks. In this case, it's dark oak. Place some staircases on all four corners. And what this is going to do is create this little circular shape just like that. Give it some depth. So again, onto the second side, three oak wood planks on either side, some staircases. And then let's punch our hole in the wall right there. And you can use whatever material you want for this, guys. I just thought that the stone brick definitely contrasts a lot with the wood that I used. But again, be as creative as possible and use whatever materials that you aesthetically like. So again, let's punch one hole right there. And moving on to the last side, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do some stairs on either side, up, and the last one, punch a hole and fill it in. Now the last thing we're going to do is take our oak wood plank, or not oak wood plates, our oak logs and we're going to come across all four and just have the middle one facing outward like so. Now let's move on to the top. Moving on to the top, let's once again take out our oak planks. We're going to come five blocks up, so four, five. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five there and five on the last side. Again, we're going to connect these all to make a little square type structure. And then we are once again going to fill these in with stone bricks. So here we are finishing off with stone bricks. Next, we're going to do the same thing as we did to the bottom. We're going to take our middle block and just have it facing outward to give it a little bit of, I guess, a, a difference in the facade. We don't want the facade to look too bland. We're going to come in. We're going to punch out the middle of all four of these sides. And we're going to add oak planks going down into the middle. And once again, guys, it's doing the same thing as the bottom, just adding some depth. Last thing we're going to do is add some stairs going on either corner. And we're going to do this for all four sides. Give it that kind of a look, guys. So let's go ahead and do that. We have one, two, three, four. This is a very simple build, guys. Again, not a lot of materials. Very straightforward. It's going to be symmetrical throughout the entire thing. But it's just, it came out really nice when I built it in survival and I decided to make it again and share it with the world. But let's fix that staircase because it's the wrong orientation. All right, so we finished the second. Let's do the final layer. Okay, moving on. We're going to go three blocks up with our wood. We're going to go on all four corners and do this. And again, this just gets easier and easier as we get to the top because there's less and less space. Fill this in with some stone brick. And we have finished the top. It's great. So let's go ahead, take our oak logs and just have them facing the exterior orientation again. And we finished basically all the structural parts of this build. Let's do the staircases going again. All right, guys, so the roof is just slabs that go across the top to make a little figure. But what we're going to do here is come out three blocks there two blocks on the side and then we're going to start our windmill part of this so we're going to come out six blocks coming from the middle we're going to do the same on all four sides so one two three four five six then we're going to go up from the center block one two three four five six and then lastly on the bottom one two three four five six so that makes our little T-shape, and we're going to do the same as what you see in the background there. We're just going to come up and make this a windmill. Four, one, two. Yeah, that looks about the same. Let's come up one more. And again, guys, I'm just eyeing this. I didn't actually count what blocks that this is in the other build here. 
but we just gotta make sure that it looks right, as if it's rotating counterclockwise to the left. We're gonna come out two blocks there, two blocks there, and then one block at the top. And that looks pretty good. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other two sides. One, two, three, four blocks there, and that will complete our windmill. Again, guys, a very awesome, easy build, guys. And it looks definitely really cool. I'll show you a screenshot of our survivor world that we have when it's surrounded by crops and everything. It's gonna come out really good. So stick around and let's build that farmhouse. All right, guys, so we are going to be moving on to building this here farmhouse. We're gonna come up one, two, three blocks for the front. We're gonna connect all those with our logs. Two, three, and then one, two. Then we're gonna come over to the side and go up. One, two, three. Nope. Four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. And these are all gonna be six blocks tall. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead and do that. And I'll see you all when it's finished. All right, now that we have that all settled down, let's take our dark oak wood planks here and let's just fill in the front facade. We're gonna come all the way across and make it flush with our structure that's going into the front. Come around to the doorway, which this is gonna be. And then we're just gonna go ahead and fill this all in with our dark oak wood planks. Now, you can make your windows however big or small that you'd like. I just find that I wanted to make this build very symmetrical, so. I'm basically just going to come out here and I'm going to punch a, a hole in the window that just looks very symmetrical in the front. So we're going to come two blocks across and three blocks tall. And let's just go ahead just for the sake of doing it. Let's fill it in with some glass. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So then we have almost the front all done. So let's go ahead and do the spire. So we're going to come up ten blocks tall for this spire here. And then we're basically just going to line up the front of it with the middle structure block right there. I'm going to come up 10 blocks. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we're going to do the same thing we did with our windmill. And we're just going to connect these on all four sides. Now, depending on what you want to do with this second floor here, you can either make it void all the way to the top, or you can make a second floor for, I guess, your farmer to sleep off there and, you know, just have extra storage. So we're going to come up 10 blocks here, connect them across, and let's just go ahead and do this last corner, line it up with this front block here for the entrance, and once again, connect it to, connect it with all four sides. Now, just for the sake of making everything look the same, I'm going to go ahead and run the structure across the middle of our build, all the way to the other side. And again, guys, you can make this spire, like, spire as big as you'd like. I only made it one half, but... It also probably would look pretty cool if you made it like symmetrical in the middle. But let's move on to doing these dark planks. We're going to go ahead and build these up. And I'm just going to fast forward this, guys, because we're just going to be filling this in. Again, you can make your windows as big as you want or as small as you'd like, depending on what is your preference. So I'll see you all when this is finished. All right, guys, so I've finished the whole bottom. I've cut our windows in, and the next step is just gonna be to finish the floor. And then after we finish with the floor, we're going to basically just fill in this spire all the way. Now, again, this does depend on if you want the second floor to be voided or if you want it to be completely filled in. For the sake of this video right now, I'm just gonna fill in my spire going all the way to the top. Let's fast forward this a little bit. And then afterwards, we can begin working on our staircases which is going to be our roof. So let's just finish this up, fill in that one, get rid of that. And we have completely filled in our void. Now we're going to work on our staircase roofs going all the way to the top. So let's start at our entrance. We're going to come up one block coming out from the end of our structure just to give it a little overhang because that's how roofs are made in real life. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Very straightforward. 
very easy, nothing going to it. Now, if you do want to give this roof a bit of a pizzazz, there's a bunch of different styles that you could find all over the place. Now, it looks pretty good. We're going to come up and go underneath and give a double layer of staircase there. And the last thing we're going to do, if I can get this right, so, is fill this in. Just so you don't see the void on the inside. And we finished with the little roof right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to doing the larger roofs because they take a lot of time. But you're basically just going to be doing the exact same thing that I did there. But we're going to come off two blocks on either side for this main roof just because it's a lot bigger and it fits better. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll see you in five seconds. Okay, so we have finished our roof as you can see. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to fill in the sides going up the peaks of these roofs. And again, guys, it all depends on how big you want the windows to be. You can make them as big or small as you would like. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put in our dark oak wood planks going all the way up and just filling this in in its entirety. And again, guys, this does not take a lot of materials. Very easy to get this many. So let's just go ahead and finish out this side and then we'll do the other side. So we'll do one there, two at the top. So let's go on over to the other side and we're going to do the exact same thing. Very straightforward. So we're going to come out one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, and then one on top. Very simple. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, and then a last one on the top. All right. It's coming along very well. Now. All we got to do is go up to the top. We're going to do the same thing with the roofing system. We're going to come out with our staircases, go one block extruding on either side to give it a little overhang. It's going to come up and we're basically just going to finish this up and do it on all two sides, <laughs> all four sides, all two sides, just to give it a little symmetrical look. And again, guys, there are a ton of different roof styles that you can make in Minecraft. Just look them up or I might even do a video on it in the future. If you'd like to see that, please leave it in the comment section below and let me know. Let's go ahead and finish this one side here. Oh, having some trouble placing my blocks here. Let's go ahead and do that. Finish that off. And then this last one's nice and easy. Maybe not. And then that. So then the last thing we have to do is come up and do our little upside down staircases to give it that extra depth and then fill in our center. Let's go ahead and do that on the opposite side to finish this out. Come come one, and come two three, four, and then fill in one stair there. All right, guys, so that's basically the entirety of our build. The last thing we have to do is just put in some windows, which I will do with you. So let's go ahead and dig out here. Dig out one on the other side to make it symmetrical. And again, guys, it all depends on if you want this to be a second floor or not. In my build, I'm going to have this be a second floor. So what I'm going to do right now is just dig out our whole spire here, which you didn't have to do, but... I don't know. I just decided to do it anyway. Whatever. Don't come for me. So let's dig this all out, and then we're going to put a big glass window coming down the middle there. So let's go ahead and come up. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So then we have our windows at the top. And what I did on the, on the other one you see to the right there is I basically just voided out this in, inside right here. And again, I did fill it in with glass panes. It probably would be better to do blocks, so just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and just do the floor that goes in the front. And this is just going to be planks with some slabs going around it, just so it's easy to get into and you don't have to jump or any of that. Very easy. All right, guys, and that finishes off our build for you. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment for us here. We always appreciate any feedback we get. Let us know in the comment section below what kind of Minecraft videos you would like to see in the future, whether it be tutorials, let's builds, or whatever you can come up with. But until next time, guys, Shedheads, out.